Okay, so here I am down at the bottom of my, my swatch piece. Um, I've got my, my latch hook coming in from the back to the front because I'm not actually going to be reforming my stitches. I'm just reworking them in a different way. I'm going to pick up the first two ladders into my latch hook and pull them through the bottom, either crochet, cast on, or e-wrap. I use the e-wrap, which is why it was just wrapped around my needles. And I'm going to pull them back so that they're now my loop down here at the bottom. There's two loops on my latch hook. Now I'm just going to grab one ladder and I'm going to pull that through the two loops. Then I'm going to grab two again I'm sorry, I'm, maybe it's good I'm going slow because I'm just not great at this yet. <laughs> now I'm grabbing the two, pulling them through the single loop and then one. And I'm going to continue this all the way up my swatch. Grabbing two, then one, two, then one, and laddering them back up into my piece. See? Two, then one. It's a little bit slower for me right now, but I'm sure with a little bit more practice I'll get better at this. <laughs> what not to video, things you haven't practiced. But you know what? It's nice to be able to share things, and this is a great way of sharing. So again, there's two being pulled through, and then one being pulled through. And this gets easier as you get higher up because you've got more that you can hold on to at the bottom. The bottom stitch is definitely the worst in the world to start out with. Okay, so two and then one. I'm going to take a couple still photographs for those folks that are on download or on dial-up so that they can see this process as well. <laughs> 